What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new video exploring and examining the mythology of the Doom franchise ahead of the upcoming movie reboot set to release January 1st of next year. That reboot is reportedly going to be much more accurate to the source material than the first Doom adaptation from 2003, which basically seems scared to touch any of the Hellspawn, you know, Doom guy, it demon stuff with a 10-foot pole, you know, kind of classic 2000s Hollywood tradition of, you know, not respecting the source material. We know we're going to be seeing the Mars bases in this movie, but if we take them at their word and believe the reports are accurate, then we will absolutely be seeing hell on screen in this film as our human survivors and victims battle the demons that spill out of it. But what exactly is hell in the Doom franchise? You know, what does it look like? Is it literal? You know, where is it? What is it? The answers to these questions have changed over time as the franchise has grown and evolved, but ultimately, as of the 2016 game, which was kind of a soft reboot of the first game, a lot has actually stayed the same over the decades. In the most basic description that I can give, the Doom franchise's take on Hell is actually an alternate dimension. It's an entirely separate realm outside of our own universe that plays pretty fast and loose with the laws of physics that govern our reality. The biggest question that I always had was, is this the literal version of Hell, or is it just kind of a hellish alternate dimension that you might interpret as the biblical version of Hell because it, you know, well, it looks like it. Well, believe it or not, as far as Doom canon is concerned, yes, this probably is the literal Hell. According to Doom 2, this is the actual hell, the plane of eternal damnation where sinners go to be punished for their misdeeds for all eternity. After you devastate hell in that game, the end game text literally says that this is where bad people go after they die, and your character wonders, where are they going to go now? The reboot doesn't reference this specifically, and that's led to some questions about whether or not it's still the literal hell, especially because in that game it's revealed that hell in the past has reached out and conquered different realms and dragged them back into hell, like the Titans realm in the game, or Argent Denur specifically. The whole crux of the Doom games is that somehow hell has been breached and is spilling out into our own reality. But, you know, how does one actually even get to hell exactly? Uh, other than dying, I guess. And the answer is fun with portals and teleportation. In the original games, Hell was accidentally accessed in experiments with teleporter technology, allowing the Hell spawn to flood through, and basically kicking off the events of the game. In the most recent game, the Union Aerospace Corporation was mining for Argent Plasma, a revolutionary and highly efficient energy source, and to the public, it was discovered and mined on Mars, but in reality, the UAC had discovered it in Hell and was using portals to extract it, which, of course, went wrong. When we're talking about hell, you probably already have a pretty vivid mental image in your head. You know, fire, brimstone, lava, the whole nine yards. And you aren't wrong, that's pretty much what it has always looked like in this franchise since the earliest incarnations. In the most recent game, hell was a series of rocky, craggy, floating islands in a sea of red clouds, with demonic structures built out of rock and large bone-like structures throughout, and actually surprisingly not that much fire. Hell is inhabited by the Hellspawn, a large and kind of loosely connected group of demons and monsters that come in, you know, all sorts of shapes, sizes, and skill sets. Some are your run-of-the-mill imps that throw fire. Others, like the Revenant, are cybernetically enhanced with jetpacks and rocket launchers. It's almost certain that these creatures were created by something, but who or what did that right now is still unknown. In Doom 2, the Icon of Sin could spawn demons, but seeing as he was killed in that game and there are still demons running around, we're not sure if he was their actual creator or just sort of like a, a, a powerful demon that just could birth other demons. And that brings us to the big question. Who is actually running the show down there? Well, that's actually something that, as of yet, we really haven't seen. I mean, in the original Doom and the most recent reboot, the invasion was planned by the Spider Mastermind, but it's not clear if that was the true ruler of Hell or just a very powerful demon, and the evidence kind of suggests that it's the latter. In Doom 2, the Icon of Sin that I mentioned before seems much more in line with what we would think of as a devil, and it was actually even designed with the image of Baphomet in mind, which is where our modern idea or image, you know, of the devil comes from, but seeing as it died in that game, and like I said, the demon threat remained after it died, it kind of casts doubt on that being the creator or ruler of hell. In the reboot, we see the Icon of Sin in the Necropolis, and in-game lore seems to suggest that the beast is slumbering, so we might see the creature in a future installment, and maybe that's when we'll discover whether or not it really runs Hell, or if there's an even bigger boss behind it all. Let us know what you think and what you hope to see from Hell in the upcoming movie in the comments section down below. Personally, 
If they even just show hell for a minute, I'm going to be happy. It already seems like this is going to be a much more faithful adaptation of the games and the series as a whole than that original movie. I mean, I am a little bit worried that it's direct to DVD, and so the quality of what we're going to see might not be what, you know, we're hoping for. But even still, I mean, anything is going to be better than uh, that 2003 movie. That's going to do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.